Imagine being really, really popular, but then you have to leave town for reasons you don't really want to get into, and when you get back, everything is very, very different. I know the city doesn't actually belong to me, but it used to feel that way. My life here had always been an easy game. I was the queen of the social scene. Everybody wanted to know my opinion. Everybody wanted to hang out with me until, I don't want to talk about it, but due to unforeseen circumstances, illegal ones, I had to leave town for a while. But my self-imposed exile came to an end, and I was ready to reclaim what was mine. Or was I? I'm desperate. I want my life back so badly. I want normalcy back so, so badly. Where is everyone? Hello, I'm home. What are you crying about? You should be crying for me. Hey, that's it? That's my welcome home parade? Glomp. Oh my gosh, Amelia. It's so good to see you. What do you mean it's good to see me? Mwah, 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 mwah. Amelia, where is everyone? I thought I told you to spread the word. I was coming home, get the word in the streets. Uh, I did spread the word, it's just no one came. What? They couldn't make it, I'm sorry. I've been gone all this time and they couldn't even make it to the airport to meet me? I thought at least Brie would be here. Nobody likes Brie, you know how she smells, Amelia? A lot has changed in the last few months, you'll see. What do you mean? In the meantime, I hope you don't mind the Loki. Welcome back, I'm here. Um, I'm a little disappointed by it, I'll be honest. No one came to meet me, not even Brie! Be honest, when did you last talk to Brie? Uh-oh, poor Amelia's feeling sad now. I'm very sad. Well, I don't even remember, but like, come on, we have a car waiting. Let's go. I'll fill you in on the way home. Feel like you're home yet? <sighs> the warm, fuzzy feeling that will last until I see Lydia. While we're on the subject, how has it been with that harpy? Same as always, I guess. I've seen more of her than dad since you left. He's been working a lot, but then what else is new, right? Well, speaking of new, you said a lot of things have changed around here. Uh, what did you mean by that? There's been a big hole in the social scene since you left. A lot of people have tried to fill it. I tried. Well, I mean, nobody can replace me, let's be honest. Tried but failed, right? Well, life went on without you, Glomp. Okay, <laughs> easy with those words. But I don't know if it went on well. Well, I bet it was pretty empty. Kind of like your big heart. Ooh, pets. I need to take this, give me a sec. You go inside, I'll be right back, okay? Can't take a phone call when in front of me? Since when? I'm growing up. Whatever. Oh. Glomp? Boon, uh, hi. You need darker hair because you're making me want to throw up. Mm. Ah! Guess who's back? Babe. What are you doing here, Boone? I was just dropping something off for you. For me? A little welcome gift. This is what I'm talking about. A gift, what is it? <laughs> you're always so suspicious. Don't worry, Glom. Those photos I took of you in Cabo will never see the light of day. Those are just for my eyes. Okay, well shut up and don't mention them then. If they do, I'll know whose butt to blame. A whole lot of butt in those photos, eh? Okay, shut up. I hate you. I guarantee you, you won't hate me after you open my gift. Guarantee you. Okay, well, you always overdo it. Was the welcome gift really necessary? I've only been gone for like three months. Like, come on. It feels like it's been a lot longer than that. And I'm disappointed you don't feel that way. Oh, well, shut up. Worship me. Boone, what a nice surprise. Though I guess you're here to see Glom. I was just dropping something off for her. Something to say sorry I couldn't make it to the airport. Just so you know, a lot of people made it. Aw, how sweet. Yeah, so many people made it. So will I see you both tonight? What's happening tonight? Just a few drinks with friends. A lot of people we know will be there. Seems like the perfect way to welcome Glomp back to town. Well, thank you. I'll make a grand entrance, cause I own this town. Who doesn't? What do you mean, who doesn't? Anyway, I'll let you settle in. Okay, thank you. See you tonight, guys. Get out of my way. Bye, Boone. What? Nothing. Okay, tell me in the elevator. What is it? Are you ever going to get serious about Boone? You've been leading him on for years. I don't lead him on. I just... You know what? Mind your own business, Amelia. I was just giving my opinion, okay? Yeah, well, it works for us, and that's all you need to know, okay? Look, there's a lot about my life that you don't understand. I think that your brain is a little bit too tiny. That's because you never tell me what's going on. I still don't know why you left. That's a conversation for another time. Focus on the fact that I'm back, okay? You're happy to see me, right? Right. Great. That's what I like to hear. Wish me luck with her, okay? Lydia! Welcome home, Glomp. Sorry I wasn't there to meet you at the airport. I heard nobody showed up. I can attempt to be nicer, don't even bother. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the usual. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna try. That's okay, Lydia. It was the perfect welcome back. It was very quaint. Just family, you know? And you're not family. Are you two already slipping back into old habits? How about a fresh start? Don't worry, Em. This is how your sister and I relate to each other. Or don't relate to each other. 
I forget which way around. I'm gonna go open my gift. And if you have a gift for me, please leave it. <sighs> Just like I left it. My beautiful room. Let's see what Boom bought me. It better be expensive. Yeah, I'll bet it's a beautiful dress. You could wear it tonight. That is, if you're sure you should go. What? Why shouldn't I? Well, people will want to know where you've been, sweetie. Why you left. What you've been doing. It's my business, not theirs. Or yours, for that matter. You always assume the worst with me. Wonder why that is. Whatever you may think, I am glad you're back. And so is your dad. Then why isn't he here to meet me? I don't have the answer to that. But there's one thing I've learned. It's that wants show their love in mysterious ways. Tell me about it. That evening. What should I wear tonight? Oh, okay, outfit one. Ew. Ew, not enough like attention seeking. Gross, puking. Boone's dress. Okay, this guy's in love with me. Yo, that's more like it. Like genuinely, this guy loves me. But wearing this dress is gonna like lead him on and I don't know if I wanna do that. So I'm gonna go, oh gosh, that is so cheap. I'm wearing this, here we go. I'll wear this one. I thought you said I'd know people here, Amelia. Who are all these people? I told you the social scene had changed around here. There's change and then there's a total social lobotomy, Amelia. I thought people would be pleased to see me but they don't even know who I am. What? I heard your back. Call me. Now. Oh god, my past. Ugh. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm gonna go find Brie. I think I see her at a bar. Glomp, before you go, there's something you should know. What? Just good luck with her, okay? Just don't expect too much. Huh? Glomp probably thinks we've all just been waiting for her return. Right? Like none of us could have ever lived life without her. She'll need some nerve to show up here tonight. Glomp has nerves of steel. She literally- Brie? Glomp? Glomp, you're back. <laughs> so soon, we weren't expecting you. Clearly. Can we talk, Bree? Not sure what there is to talk about. It's been a while, we'll figure it out. Fine, follow me outside. So, how have you been? What's new? What's been going on around here? You talk, Glomp. I know how much you love the sound of your own voice. Well, actually, I do. I... <sighs> Excuse me? Did you just yawn? Yeah, it's a universal signal that you're bored. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I boring to you, Brie? You are, actually. Uh, uh. While you were gone, I had a lot of time to think. I realized something key. Your friendship is something I don't need. So if you thought you could just pick me back up after you drop me, think again. I didn't drop you, Brie. I had to leave. Oh, please. You always act like you have so much mystery. But it sounds like the same old crap to me. I can see that you're hurt right now, and I'm sorry. Sorry? I'm not hurt! I'm pissed! Oh jeez, I tried to be nice, but like... Fine, if you're really sorry, then tell me why you left. I'm not ready to talk about that yet. See? I knew it! It's always the same. Here's the thing, Glom. I'm not the only one who did some thinking while you were gone. Things have changed around here. We're tired of you holding us back. What are you talking about? There's a new social hierarchy. We've moved on. You're not the queen bee anymore. Your reign is over. Oh, jeez. My reign is over? What is that supposed to mean? Even so soon? You just got here. I just got savage. That's what happened. Really? By who? How dare they? Brie! Long story short, she isn't happy to see me. Why not? Wait, are you ever going to tell me what happened between you two? I know you're more than just friends. We never established what we were. And right now, she and I aren't even friends, let alone more. Even so, it doesn't mean you have to leave. You should stick around and let me admire you in that dress. I knew you'd look great on you. Nice try, but no. The last thing I need is a showdown with Brie on my first night back. You really think it would come to that? She's got that look in her eyes, like the crazy eyes. Trust me, I know what that looks like. Time for me to call it a night. Good night, Glom. And for the record, I'm really glad you're back. Oh, well, thanks. At least somebody is. The next morning. Morning, Em. Hey, Glom. How'd you sleep? You disappeared early last night. My reunion with Bree didn't go as planned. Was it really that bad? It was worse. She said the social scene has changed around here. She made it sound like I'm old news or something. <laughs> Yikes. You don't have to look so smug about it. I'm not smug. I just find this whole thing kind of dumb. The struggle for power. I don't know who she thinks she is, but she can't cancel me like that. Nobody's canceling you, Glom. Maybe you just need to apologize to her again. Yo, you're my sister. Like, can you be on my side, please? I'm sorry, I hate you. In fact, I have the perfect opportunity opportunity for you. I invited Brie to meet us for brunch. Oh girl. And she said yes? She did. See? She totally wants to make amends glomp. Jordan and Kinsley will be there too, the whole group. Good. I have to be seen. Good work, Em. I need everyone to know that I am back in town. Apparently they all think I've fallen off the face of the earth. And on that note, I'd better go get dressed. Take your time. Hmm. Be honest, Boone. Is this brunch a bad idea? Why would it be a bad idea? I'm pretty sure Brie hates me. Brie doesn't hate you, Glom. She's your best friend. She was, was my best friend. And maybe more. She can't stay mad at you forever, Glom. Trust me, she'll come around. 
forget about Bree for a second and focus on me, okay? Please, me, right here. Can I see you later? I have a few things to fill you in on. Oh, Boone, I don't know what to do. You're not really my priority right now. Like, you're already on my side and all I care about is being popular. So get out of my way. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure what else I have on. <laughs> I hear you. Let me know if you can fit me in. Yeah, I'll let you know. I'll talk to you later, Guang. Bye. Bye, Boone. Idiot. No matter what happens, at least I know I'll always have Boone. Remind me again why our table is taking so long? I have no idea. It was booked for 10.30. Amelia is talking to the host right now. Can you still call it brunch when it's officially lunchtime? Whatever. I'm gonna go find Kinsley. That table better be ready by the time we get back. Ugh. What's up, Em? What happened to our booking? Um, there was an issue with the table turnover and... You should have name dropped Glom. Is that a joke? Then we would have got the real VIP treatment. Okay, that's a joke. How long are you planning to keep this up, Bree? Keep what up? The whole angry act. You keep flaring your nostrils when you speak. You look like a bull. Excuse me? I know you don't really hate me, Bree. I'll give you two a minute, okay? I'm not going anywhere. You'll have to deal with me eventually. I already dealt with you, Glom. You know what? I'm not even hungry. Oh, yikes. Enjoy your brunch, lunch, whatever it is. Bree! Oh, my popularity! It's plummeting! Oh, did you follow me out here? Like, leave me alone. I was hoping we could talk. I already said all I wanted to say. Well, I didn't. I know you're upset that I left, but I'm back now! Yeah! Let's all woo-woo party! Amazing! I'm gonna do what every popular girl does and say stuff I don't mean. I miss you so much. So much, Brie. I thought about you all the time, about that night, the night we can't forget. What are you doing? It's broad daylight. Look, whatever you think happened between us, I'm not gay. Oh, I thought you were. And I'm glad you left, Glom. It gave me time to think. I don't want you back in my life. If you really feel that way, then why'd you come today? I came as a favor to Em, nothing to do with you. Oh. As far as I'm concerned, this friendship is over. Oh, but what am I supposed to do without you? Don't worry, Glom. You'll always have Boone. Oh, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> After what happened today. That is, unless those rumors are true. W what rumors? I heard it's been seeing someone, but it's all hush hush. Oh my goodness. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Secrets can be used against the other characters. The more you unlock, the more influence you'll have over them, okay? Ooh. Take care, Glom. Um. Well, our table's finally ready. Is everything okay? Does it look like everything's okay to you? You don't have to bite my head off. I just asked. Let's just get out of here. I'm sure we have plenty to eat at home anyways. <sighs> what a drama queen. That evening. Mommy. Going somewhere, Glom? If you must know, I'm meeting Boone. I don't have any other plans, so I have to meet him. Oh, don't tell me you two are rekindling that old flame. Why the sudden interest in Boone? I'm curious about your relationship with him. None of your concern. Is this little interrogation over or should I pull up a chair? There's something going on with you, Glom. I can tell. What? Is that your sixth sense? Try working on the other five. I have to go. Don't wait up. Your phone keeps buzzing, you know. Do you need to get that? No, it's nobody. I'm just really popular, but... Anyways. If you say so. Do you know what day it is tomorrow? Uh-oh, am I forgetting one of our many anniversaries? Not exactly. It's the garden party. Although I do recall a little something happening last time we went together. Oh, <laughs> that. Tickets have been sold out for months. Um, well, I'll, I'm Miss Popular. I'll find a way in. I know how to make that happen. I got you, girl. You can come with me. I have a plus one. Really? But don't you already have a date? Like maybe that secret girlfriend Brie mentioned? You know you're always my first choice, Glom. I used to think so. So what's going on with you, Boone? Anything new? You know me, Glom. Just the usual. Just following you around. Oh, well, now that I'm running out of options and I'm really, really desperate, I'm going to flirt with you. There's nothing usual about you. That sparkle in your eye. Oh, glad you still remember. I'm glad we could meet for a drink. It's good to know some things never change. Come on, I'll walk you out. But my cocktail is still full! I think he just called it a night. Oh, I've always trusted Boone, but I can't help but wonder, is he keeping something from me? And if so, what? Or who? What? <laughs> I know you're getting these messages. Don't make me take matters into my own hands. Oh, yikes! Usual place, 30 minutes. Uh-oh. Creepy. I've got to face my past. The past that I don't want to tell anybody about. You wanted me here? I'm here. Now, let's just get this over with. Thought you weren't going to show. Guess I finally got your attention. I want her to be blonde, because I pictured evil idiot being blonde. Yeah, this one kind of looks like too smart. Whoa. <laughs> That's the stuff. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Ew. There you go. Ew, I hate it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Just tell me what I'm doing here. Thought you might want an update. On what? On that little thing you did before you left. You know the one I mean. Oh, that. 
He said, you take care of it. And that's exactly what I did. It's done and dusted like it never even happened. Then why am I still hearing about it? Here's some advice. Next time you commit a crime, don't skip town the next day. It makes it look suspicious. Well, you're the expert. I'll pretend you said, thanks for the help. Wait, there's a potential she got me into this mess? You got me into this mess. <laughs> yeah, keep telling yourself that. So if you're back, does this mean we're back on? Should I expect some late night texts, selfies from the neck down? Oh geez. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm sure I'll hear from you next time you're bored, like you do with Boone. Are we done here? Because I'd like to get back uptown. If someone spots me with you, they might get suspicious. Oh, and Glomp, about that little thing I cleared up for you? Don't forget you owe me one, and I'll be calling in that favor. See you around. No, what do you mean? Oh, jeez, oh god, oh, my whole life since I got back is a mess. I just want to be popular so bad. Em, were you just standing here in the dark? Wait, were you sneaking back in, in the middle of the night? Where have you been? You first. If I'm singing back in, then so are you. Uh, 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 I was out for a walk. At this hour, really? And FYI, I wasn't sneaking back in. I don't sneak. I strut. I put that bass in my walk. But apparently you do steal my clothes. Isn't that my coat? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess it is. Well, can I have it back, please? Sure, Glomp. I'll put it in your room. Do you need it now? Thank you. Yeah, I need it now. Thanks. I might have to make you dry clean it for me. Ooh, back with its rightful owner. Ah, oh, the power, the power. I wonder what else Em borrowed while I was away. Hmm, what's this? What is this piece of paper? Milan? With a phone number? Milan, who is that? What is she up to? What am I up to? The next day. Oh good, you're up. Lydia sent me to check on you. What, why? She thinks there's something going on with you. That's a direct quote. I told her you're just an addict for dramatics. Why is she so meddling? If you could throw her off the scent, that'd be great. I'll try my best. Hey. Wait, are you free this afternoon? I need to find a dress for the garden party tonight. You're going to that? Yeah, Boone offered to take me with him and I can't not be seen at it. Of course he did. Sorry, Glomp, I already have plans. Why don't you call one of your friends? What friends? Oh God. Later that day. Ugh, I have to shop all by myself. Whatever, I don't need a second opinion. I'll trust my own judgment. I have amazing judgment. Oh no. Jordan? Kinsley? Oh, <laughs> it's you. Kinsley, be a dare and give me a moment with Glomp. Uh, okay. I've been waiting for this moment. What moment is that? Mine. You may be back, but that doesn't mean a thing to me. I'm not going back to being your little hanger on. You can hang on to me. Oh, so you think you're the new me. Do you hear yourself when you speak? Do you? So, so much hostility. So much hostility. It sounds like you're threatened by me. Whatever, Glomp. I always knew Bree was right about you. Right about me how? You can't just say something like that and walk away. Like, come on. At least you know what you're getting with me. Everyone else here is playing all these games. Whatever, I need to find something to wear tonight. As I go right back to playing games. Okay, I need the most low cut dress they have. Okay, here we go. Bang. Damn. Yes. That evening. Look at me walking in with my date who I don't really like very much. Have you noticed that I'm persona non grata all of a sudden? No way, you're imagining things. No one needs to imagine the stink eye Bree's been giving me. You know that old saying, if the wind changes, your face will stay that way? She'll come around, Glomp. She just needs time. Until then, you probably shouldn't provoke her. Play it safe for once. You just tell me to play it safe? Do you know me at all? I'm just saying, Bree's been through enough. Really? Like what? No, no, nothing. Forget I said anything. Come on! Then you can handle it on your own for a while, or am I feeding you to the wolves? Ugh, I don't see any wolves here, just wannabes. I'll take that as a yes. See ya. Okay, I'm scared. Oh god. Aw, you came with Boone. Just you and Old Faithful. He offered me his plus one ticket. Smart move. If everyone sees him with you, they'll assume he's not seeing anyone else. Okay, shut up. It's a perfect smoke screen. I am not a smoke screen. And if he's seeing someone new, he hasn't mentioned it to me. Like I said, he's keeping it hush hush. You should really listen to me, Glomp. Otherwise, you're going to embarrass yourself. Why do you care so much about his relationship anyway? I don't, but I thought you would. I trust Boone. I've known him my whole life. We were each other's first everything. Well, not everything. <laughs> he's never lied to me before and he wouldn't start now. Boone knows what loyalty means. That's cute. Can he spell it? Okay, girl, you're just mean. <laughs> You think you're so nice, but you're just mean. At least I know I'm mean. Hey, Em. I'm still feuding with Bree. Yep, think of this as our war dance. Did you see her much while I was away? Did she say anything about me? Honestly, Glomp, she only mentioned you once. She asked me if I knew why you left. I said no, she never brought it up again. Really? That's all she had to say about me? I thought there would be more. Maybe you don't matter as much as you think. Girl, I'll pretend you never said that. Whatever, I have more things to worry about than just Bree. Like what? Like every other backstabbing girl we know. I don't think everyone is plotting against you. Everyone is 
hide from you and Boone. And since we're on that subject, do you know anything about that girl he's supposed to be seeing? What? Why would I know anything about that? I don't know, because sometimes people hear things. I don't know. What makes you think he'd tell me anyway? Like, I don't know anything. He usually ignores me to talk to you. Boone doesn't ignore you. He doesn't exactly notice me either. I need to get to the bottom of this Boone mystery. I don't like the idea that he's keeping things from me. Because you've never kept anything from him. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Ever since I got back, it feels like you're less than happy with me. You know what? Just go find Boone, okay? Fine! I will. Peace. Are the rumors true? If Boone is a secret girlfriend, then why'd he come here with me? I'm nobody's side piece. There you are. I've been looking for you. Really? Have you? What's been going on, Boone? What do you mean? You came here with me tonight when no one else even offered. You took me for a drink. You bought me that dress. Does your girlfriend know about that? My what? I heard you have someone on the side. Someone you don't want anyone to know about. Be honest. Are you using me as a cover? That would crush me. What? That's ridiculous. Is it? You're the only one that isn't mad at me. Is that because we're such good friends or because you need me for something? Why can't it be both? Both? I knew it. I knew there had to be something in it for you. You don't get to use me. I wasn't using you, Glom. It's not like you want to be with me anyway. It's always I'm not ready for a relationship with you. It's the truth. I know and I understand that. So I found someone who actually wants to be with me. Who is she? Sorry, Glomp, I can't tell you that. Well, it'll come out anyway. You can try to keep it a secret, but we both know it'll come out. You should have just told me to begin with. I didn't know how to tell you, Glomp. It's always been an on and off between us. You're right. We've always left that door open. I just hope you won't hold this against me. We'll have to see about that. In the meantime, I'm going to get another drink. Bye. Ugh, old faithful, huh? I officially have no friends! You're actually a loser. <laughs> I'm such a loser! From bad to worse! Maybe some air will help clear my head. Lydia, what are you doing out here? I live here, remember? <laughs> Whatever, Lydia, I'm gonna push you off this balcony. Whatever you're drinking, can I have one of those? Rough night, Glom? Something like that. Things aren't the same as when I left. It's like everyone forgot who I am. Huh, it must be tough not knowing you're number one anymore. Don't worry, you'll adjust. I won't need to adjust. Actually, I'm planning a rapid return to power. And what's your plan for making that happen? You've got no friends, no influence, and no leverage. Right, thanks for that resume. Face it, Glom. You can't even claw your way back up. Your dirt is outdated. Well, I still know where the bodies are buried. No, <laughs> you don't. But if you want back in, you'll figure it out. Well, thanks, stepmom. God, the city is mine. And I'm not going down without a fight. <laughs> you sound delusional. I am. I'm out of my mind. <laughs> You're such a loser. Literally the biggest loser in town burned Every single possible bridge there is, and I'm coming back like I own the place. Like, this is so embarrassing. I did not expect that. I thought we were going to be cool here. <laughs> yeah, no, my secondhand embarrassment for this woman is, like, through the roof. I just can't even. Well, that was a lot of fun, Nora. I had so much fun being your bullies and your boyfriend. And then your bullies again. <laughs> and the person cheating on me, yeah. Let's not call him boyfriend for now. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications. Make sure you go and check out Nora's channel. She's making some amazing content over there. Yeah. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.